Good morning, family, and welcome to today's Lessons for Life. Today is Thursday, October 30th, 2008, and today we're reading Genesis chapter 31. And as I was reading, I really want to encourage you uh, to read the chapters really for yourself to see what you get from it, because what I can talk about is uh, very minimal, I guess, as far as everything that's going on in chapter. Because what we spoke about yesterday, when we go on with uh, reading to the chapter today, we see some stuff that I wasn't able to talk about. But uh, I'm going to explain it even with my lesson for today. So Genesis chapter 31, and we're talking about Jacob. And I kind of really find it amusing how we can see certain things uh, repeating themselves. And Jacob here, uh, what I was talking about with yesterday's chapter, Jacob uh, made a deal with Laban. And he was going to take all of the uh, sheep and the cattle and so forth with uh, blemishes and imperfections. And what happened, the Lord made that the ones that Jacob took actually grew stronger and than the one that Laban had. The one that Laban had says was feeble. And that was in yesterday's lesson. Um, well, that's it, yesterday's chapter. But to, in this chapter, we hear how now uh, Jacob sees how his uh, cattle and his, his uh, flock has grown stronger. And now Laban's countenance has turned against him because now he sees that Jacob's getting actually stronger even though he's taking all the ones with the blemishes and so forth. So Jacob now decides that he, he wants to leave because now Laban's going to, he feels Laban's going to turn against him. And what I see, uh, what I said is, a, uh, what my lesson for today is on Genesis 31, how you can see the different patterns and the different uh, things going on where Jacob, we remember before how Jacob was the one that was deceiving uh, Esau and he got his birthright and he got the blessing and then he met up with Laban and then Laban actually deceived him and um, we, we spoke about that in the previous chapters as well too so Jacob actually didn't get away from uh, what was going to come back to him I should say because then Laban deceived him and he had to work for him for seven years and he married his elder daughter first and then he uh, had to work again to marry the one he really wanted to marry which is Rachel and he was still working for him. And now, so Laban deceived Jacob at that point. And now, uh, Laban is the one actually who's getting the, uh, it caught, it's catching up to Laban at this point. Because now Laban thought that he was going to be getting the better of the flock or the better sheep. And he's given the, the ones with the imperfections to Jacob. And in this chapter, we see how now Jacob has grown stronger and Laban is turning against him. So the point that I'm uh, going to bring out today in the Lessons for Life is just how you can learn from the different uh, people that we read about in the, in the scriptures, in the Bible, and you can see different patterns that they go through so that we can prevent them in our own lives. And what I'm saying with the deception and with the uh, trickery that's going on, where none of them get away from, from it. There's always a repercussion that's going to come uh, back in their lives from Jacob he gets deceived by Laban. Now Laban is catching up with Laban because he, he's actually all his flock is there, has basically uh, gone to Jacob because Jacob got, Jacob got all the stronger flock. So how we can use that in our own life is just understand that the things you do is going to catch up with you uh, sooner or later. And that's a, it's a encouraging, you know, if you look at it as a negative thing, you can see it negative. But if you look at it as positive, you can see it as a positive thing where you know that you're not going to, get away from certain things that you do so now you kind of it, it helps to keep you in check to keep you on the right track to keep you doing the right things because some way or another somewhere down the road it might not be from the person that you deceive or from the person that you get over on uh, but it, it's going to come back to you even from somewhere else just like Jacob it came back to him from Laban and Laban it came back to him from him, his, his sheep and his flock all being um, feeble and, and uh, basically not having anything left with that so that was a lesson I want to bring out uh, and I, as I said at the beginning of this chapter I encourage you to read the entire chapter because there's a lot more in this chapter um, we also go into where Rachel actually has stolen from her father as they were leaving but uh, I encourage you to read the entire chapter for yourself and if you uh, feel led you can send us an email we'll put it on our blog and we'll just continue to explore the word of God together so thanks for tuning in today's lesson for life go ahead and create yourself a wonderfully blessed day as this lesson, we learn uh, just be mindful of things you do so that you don't have things catching up to you, you don't, and you won't even know where they're coming from, but they're coming from stuff you might have did before in the past. So create yourself a wonderfully blessed day today, and we will talk again tomorrow.